that's like the worst because then you're going to have to go through it again anyway. So I think what I'm going to do, we're going into the next one. They're level 27s now, so they are getting stronger. So we'll just start using our Iron Man team now to get through these chapters right here. It's actually getting a lot, lot harder, kind of quick, to tell you the honest truth, guys. I didn't actually, I didn't actually think it was going to get that harder, to tell you the honest truth. So, um, I, I know, I know my my Iron Man team here. Literally, they're beasts. They are literally, they're, they're just beasts. My um, Hulk Buster, I can't wait to like literally try and get him for like a six stars and stuff like that. I know I've actually missed out on the the biometric offers, but. I don't know. I didn't really want to spend money on the actual game. Um, like there is other people that it's got like six stars characters, but they've actually put money, lot, a lot of money into the actual game. I don't want to put a lot of money into this game, guys. I want to just try and get all the characters um, without trying to spend any more money. But like I said, I only want to spend money on the game when uh, new characters come out and to show you guys uh, what it's all about and maybe like review the characters and stuff like that. But other than that. Um, I don't really want to spend money on the game to say the honest truth because you actually can get as long as you like grind the game out you can actually get all the characters which is pretty awesome here we go Are you ready blade ooh yeah blade gets taken out nicely oh Hulk Buster is a beast Hulk Buster is a beast bring out my Iron Man now Roar! yes Ooh, an extra little dirty hit right there from Iron Man. Uh, Blade was knocked out and he's still done his beam. Take him out. Just for extra extra reassurance. Moving on nicely. Alright. Yeah, each level, the, the they're actually going up by... Each stage we go up, then the enemies are actually going up each level. Wow. So eventually they're going to be like level 50s and 60s and stuff like that. Wow, okay. Um... That's going to be crazy. We need to start leveling up a lot, lot more. Um, okay, so I'm ready for this. I don't think they are ready for it. But I'm ready for this. Is that a, is that a bazooka? He got a bazooka for us. That's one thing that might um, hurt Hulk Buster. Bazooka. Badoosh. Oh, dudes. I'm assuming now a lot of you have um, seen the Marvel uh, Avengers film. The new one. The second one. I'm assuming that a lot of you have seen that. Um, it has been out now for a little while, so, dudes, we have to talk a little bit about that. We have to talk, I, I don't know, oh, should I talk a little bit about it or not? We have to. The Hulk Buster, when the Hulk Buster versus um, Hulk, oh, dudes, that was like, when it came out, I was like, what the heck is Iron Man bringing out? He calls out this thing from the sky. It goes ding 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 ding. I'm like, what the heck is he doing? It comes out of the sky. I think I thought it was gonna be like some big giant. I don't know what it was gonna be actually. I didn't know what the heck it was gonna be. But he calls this big giant thing out of the sky and then he starts dish 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 start attaching himself to him. I'm like, oh my god. That's insane. And then the Hulk Buster's created just like that. Like I was like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And then they start fighting like absolute beasts. Like literally, they they fight like beasts. I thought, uh, you know what, I, I put my hands down to Tony Stark for creating such a machine to take on the Hulk. Like literally, that's the Hulk. Do you know what I mean? That's the Hulk. And he created a machine that could take on the Hulk, which is awesome. Um, even, though, even though I don't think anything could do it. You see Iron Man's suit? Is that made out of alimentium? That's what I want to know, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one question I want to go know. So if you guys actually know that, um, if you guys actually know if that like is 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 his made is his suit made out of alimentium, let me know because I'm I'm assuming anything in Marvel when it comes to like metal and stuff, it is alimentium. That's what I'm assuming. Like obviously, um, Ultron is made out of alimentium, right? I'm pretty sure Ultron is made out of alimentium, uh, and then obviously Wolverine. And then there's other weapons like um, Captain America's shield is alimentium. So I'm pretty sure, really, superheroes that have any kind of metal on them is alimentium, right? So the Iron Man suit must be alimentium. It, ha it has to be. It is, it is, it is alimentium, isn't it? Right, the, the, the metal it is alimentium. I think it is, yeah. You know, you know, I'm pretty sure it is called alimentium. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that Iron Man's suit is made out of it, but... Just leave in the comments below and let me know if it is or not because sometimes I get a bit confused. Um, so, 
Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. What about Deadpool's knives? No, I don't think Deadpool's knives are. Even though they're the same people that created um, the Wolverine, actually created Deadpool. So I'm pretty sure that Deadpool's knives should really be made out of adamantium, right? Because it was the same people that actually created uh, the Wolverine. So I'm pretty sure that he should be. That'd be pretty cool, I suppose, as well. Oh, let's use... Finish him off with this. Oh, I missed it. No way. Machine guns. <gasps> yeah. I want to get Spider-Man. I heard Spider-Man is super, super good. Especially that web movie just done when he, when he like, basically stops him. You know what game I haven't actually played for ages, guys? I actually just thought of it now when I saw that string move from um, Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, from Spider-Man. You know, Pokemon. I haven't played Pokemon for ages. The reason why it actually reminded me of Pokemon. We've got two bosses to fight. Oh, my God. The reason why it actually reminded me of Pokemon. Because you know that um, Pokemon, the worm. The worm one. I forgot what its name is. Wormly or... I don't, actually, I have no clue. I, I completely forgot about it. I haven't played Pokemon for years. For years and for years and years and years and years. And years. Um, it's crazy. I actually have the one of the games upstairs actually in my um, Nintendo 3DS. It actually might not be years. It's years actually. I think uh, when I got upstairs, um, it might be like a, a ruby. I don't actually know. I don't actually know what they even called now. Um, actually, it might not be ruby. I think ruby is actually a really old one. But I know it's one of the the ones for the 3DS. Um, and I got that one, and it's one of the um, them that worm one that does the string shot, and it slows them down, decreases their speed. I haven't actually played Pokemon for years. Well, I think it feels like years anyway. Um, it must at least be a year. I'm, I'm assuming it must be somewhere at least in the year range. Um, but yeah, um, Pokemon. I haven't played that game for so long. Oh my god! Like I see, this is what I was talking about on the other episode as well, guys. You see, like when you're sitting there and you're thinking about an old game or an old film or anything like that, and you start thinking about it, and you're like, you either want to watch it or that we are facing two bosses. This is insane. Hopefully, we get hit on both. Yes, it hit them both. Awesome. Boom. Oh, that's Green Goblin was to be kind of quick, which is awesome. Let me bring out some new characters here. I don't make it. Oh, we missed it. How did we miss that? No way. All right, here we go. Bring out, bring out the Iron Man. Destroy him. There we go. I love that move that the Iron Man does out of his chest. Awesome. What is the next Marvel film that's going to be made? I'm pretty sure that there's going to be another... Um, another Guardians of the Galaxy I'm pretty sure and you're gonna see I'm pretty sure you're gonna see Thanos in that as well because you know what it's about time that Thanos makes an appearance guys you, let's tell the truth it is it is so about time that Thanos makes an appearance we need him to make an appearance now I so want to see Thanos in a film like no jokes I think he needs to come out Thanos needs to show his face now in these Marvel films and just go all crazy out on it. That's what it needs to be happen. Guardians of the Galaxy needs to come back. I didn't even know Star Lord literally is like a, a prince. It's, he's, he's, a, he's actually a prince of a kingdom and he finds his father and all that. And it's, it's insane. I actually started reading up on um, Star Lord and stuff. Um, I think they're actually in the, in the process of making the new Guardians of the Galaxy. And I think that's what it's going to be about. And it'll be pretty cool to see Thanos in that as well. But like I said, Thanos needs to come in these Marvel films now. He needs he needs to come out in these Marvel films. Like, no joke. Like, we've got to see him start just destroying stuff. I want to see his true power when he takes people on. I want to see all the Avengers taking on Thanos. It'll be, it'll be you know what? They need to bring out some more um, Marvel films. And then they need to do another Marvel Avengers film. With all of them put in together. Whoa, look at that boss. That looks insane. Like, when I say that, I mean like, they need to put like, Ant-Man and the Avengers. They need to bring Guardians of the Galaxy into the film. They need to bring the whole, the, the whole roster into it. And it needs to be against Thanos. That would be cr literally crazy insane, right guys? Could you imagine like, Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man and uh, the, the Thor and the Hulk and all them guys together to fight Thanos that would be crazy crazy awesome I would actually really really enjoy that film that'd be cool I just want to see the gauntlet with the infinity stones in I want to see I want to see how much power Thanos has got 
That is that is the trick right there. I want to see that. I want to see how much power he's actually got. I want to see him taking people out because you only see him. You see him a little bit in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So I want to see now. You know, I wanna, he didn't even get up off his chair. You know, he just talked to Ronan, and that was it. You know, he just said that he would kill Ronan if he betrayed him. And the next minute, Ronan gets the Infinity Stone, puts it into his hammer, and turns off the TV or whatever he's talking to Thanos someone tells him he's coming for him but now I want to see Thanos make an appearance like let's let's see Big Boss Man make an appearance and see what kind of damage he can actually do to everyone that's I'm, I'm, I'm so curious now you don't understand that's that's one of my things that I want to see now guys that's like it has to happen like we need to see Thanos I, I need to see it I want to see him just I want to see how like huge he is is he gonna be is he as big as like hulk or something like that because yeah i want to see thanos taking hulk on that'd actually be a pretty cool fight even though i don't know obviously um thanos isn't meant to be like the strongest actually i don't know i'm you know what there's actually i swear there's actually meant to be um another marvel person that's actually stronger than thanos but i can't think right now but i was i was reading up the other day but I can't, I can't, I'm trying to think of who it is, but I actually can't think right now. I'm pretty sure Thanos, there's someone actually stronger than Thanos out there, but Thanos is the actual, the man for now. For now, for now he's the man. For now he is the man. But, um, yeah, like I said, he needs to make an appearance, you know. We need to see, we need to see the almighty Thanos taking on some of these guys. We need to see it. 